Right now we interact with computers in a very unnatural sort of 2D way. And we're trying to create these 3D objects using a variety of 2D tools. And it, it, just, it doesn't feel natural, it doesn't feel normal the way you should do things. So we started playing around with the idea and using a, a few of the things that are available out there, such as the Leap Motion and Siemens NX, which is what we used to design the rocket. And we wrote some code to kind of integrate the two. And we started off with what you see uh, here, which is a wireframe of the Merlin rocket engine. And, uh, and what I can do is I can, I can go and grab it, and I can rotate it in multiple dimensions. And then what I can do is I can put another hand in there, and I can zoom, or I can zoom in and out on the, on the wireframe. And then I can also translate it. So I can move it around the screen, and then zoom and translate. And this is what we, we started off with a few months ago. And then you can, you can also spin it, and then catch it. So this is kind of fun, a fun way to interface with what is really a very complex model. Now we'll go, to, go from this to what we're able to advance to a few weeks after the wireframe, which is to, to actually use a, a full 3D uh, CAD model of the engine. So here what you're seeing is the actual interaction with the CAD software manipulating the real 3D model of the Merlin engine just using hand gestures. If you can just go in there and do what you need to do, just understanding the fundamentals of how the thing should work, as opposed to figure out how to make the computer make it work, then you can, you can achieve a lot more in a lot shorter period of time. So then we went to a, a 3D projection. We started off with the kind of 3D projection that you're familiar with in the movies where you use 3D glasses. We also did a freestanding glass projection, which is what the sort of technology that was used in the Iron Man movies. And then finally we used the, the Oculus Rift, which is immersive virtual reality that actually tracks your head position and you really are moving around the object. It feels like it's right there in front of you. Now let's use this for an actual component on the rocket, which is a cryogenic valve housing you can really apply your intuition and take something from your mind to a physical object with far greater ease than we currently do. Now that we've gotten it, the object out of our head and into the computer, how do we get it out of the computer and into reality? So we're actually gonna print this with a 3D laser metal printer. So the way that the 3D printer works is it lays down fine particles of either titanium or inconel, and then it goes over it with a laser and melts that, those tiny particles onto the prior layer. So it builds it up like just layer by layer. So I, I believe we're on the verge of a major breakthrough in design and manufacturing, in being able to take the, an, a, the, the concept of something from your mind, translate that into a, a 3D object really intuitively uh, on the computer, and then take that, that virtual 3D object and be able to, to make it real just by printing it. So it, it's going to revolutionize design and manufacturing in the 21st century.